Hey guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Guys, wanted to do a quick maintenance video for you guys for the Echo 2620 Pro Extreme Trimmer. Let's check it out. Alright guys, it's a topic that not too many guys talk about and that is maintaining your equipment. I know we all get busy, I know we all run around 100 miles an hour, especially in the spring, but you gotta slow down and make sure you take some time to maintain your equipment. If you're noticing a droop in power in any of your handheld tools, you may want to consider changing the three vital parts of any handheld piece of equipment. Number one, the air filter, number two, the fuel filter, and number three, the spark plug. They're extremely simple to change, it doesn't take more than five minutes to do this, but I guarantee you, you'll see some of the power that's been robbed from your equipment return and be able to perform better for you when you're cutting grass day to day. Let me do a quick video for you guys and show you how to do a quick change out of the spark plug, air filter, and fuel filter on your 2620 Pro Extreme trimmer. Alright guys, the first thing I wanted to cover from Echo was their UCAN maintenance kit. You've got your air filter, your spark plug, and your fuel filter. Second up, all you're going to need is a socket wrench to change out the spark plug. And third, a little tip of the trade is a handy little wire hanger. This right here, we're going to be sticking in the gas tank. That way we can pull out the fuel filter. Really simple, okay? Now, I haven't prepped any of this beforehand, so let's just go through it together and let's just change this out really quick. First part, let's change out the spark plug. Let's take off the cap. Let's take out our spark plug. Now, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but this is my spark plug after running the Echo 2620 for one season. We have yet to change the spark plug, air filter, or fuel filter on it. So it is a little gnarly, but honestly, it's not overall too bad, but we're going to change it out and just maintain it and keep ahead of things. Let's open up our UCAN maintenance kit. We got our brand new fuel filter and our spark plug. Now let's install the spark plug. We'll put our cap back on. And voila, good to go. The cool thing about the Echo 2620, there's no tools required to change the air filter and the pre-filter. You just have the two knobs here, the two nuts that you have to unscrew, and then you have access to the air filter. All right, guys, here's the filter. We got some red armor oil residue, it looks like. Not sure what that's about. I'm going to have to talk to my dealer. But number two, we got the air filter. As you guys can tell, this thing is absolutely gnarly. Like I said, we put these things through heck and back, and it's definitely time to change out the air filter and the pre-filter. Let's do it now. Let's take this off right here. We're going to keep that. Here's the brand new air filter. Goes right in like that. And then again, we've got the pre-filter little foam piece right here, and that's just gonna sit right on top. We're gonna assemble it back over the air filter protector, just like that, and then let's screw it back on. All right guys, pretty straightforward just to screw those back on. Now let's change the fuel filter inside the gas tank. All right guys, inside the fuel tank obviously is where the fuel filter is. Now you're gonna need a wire hanger with a hook on the end. That's kind of the tip and trick that I use. That way you can fish it out. Let's take off the cap entirely. Here's a basic dry cleaner hanger, that way you can pull out the fuel filter. First time, voila, not too bad, right? Now some of these have a little cap on the end or a little spring. Honestly, you can just take it right out. We've got our new fuel filter, we're gonna put it right back into the line. Now if your guys' fuel line has a clamp or a spring, make sure you slide that back on the fuel filter, that way we can keep some tension on that fuel line. Let's put our cap back on. And voila, the fuel filter is done. All right, guys, that's pretty much it on the Echo 2620 Pro Extreme maintenance kit. You can do it. It wasn't really that complicated. It took about five minutes to do that, and that's even with recording with the camera. Very simple, but I'm telling you what, make sure you make that annual maintenance on your trimmer. That way you can get some of that lost power back and just keep the engine running smooth and clean. Again, replacing that nasty fuel filter, air filter, and spark plug is definitely going to give you back some of that robbed power to your hand tools. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, do me a big favor. Shoot the video a thumbs up. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching Brian's Law Maintenance. You guys take care.